Hi, who's your rats? Welcome back to another video. This episode is mainly going to be focused on getting on top of the nether roof and building some portals up there and, like, basically making a sort of nether hub. There's also a lot of other things I want to do that I couldn't do last episode, like finding a desert or trading with villagers with my new hero of village effect. But before we get into any of those, please subscribe, it helps out the channel a lot. I have a surprise every time I reach a sub goal, and my current sub goal is 50 subs, so let's reach it. Okay, now let's get into everything we're supposed to do. Okay, since my Hero of the Village effect has started to run out, I still have some minutes left. I think that the first thing to do should be trading with villagers. I know exactly what to do with that. I have quite a bit of diamond armor in this chest. I think that now would be a good time to max it all out. Be right back. First things first, I'm gonna need a lot of books. I think I'll be good with two backup sets of armor. But yeah, let's get into that. Always a good idea to repair all the hill. Alright guys, I've gotten all the books I'll need, yes that is all the books I'll need to max out two sets of armor. Now it's time to get some anvils. Yes, I will need multiple. Yeah, I think that should be good. Now we know where we need to go. To the end, I suppose. Okay, we're in. Now let's get to my Enderman grinder. Actually, first, I should get some obsidian. 50 obsidian? Yeah, that should be good. Right, now to get enchanting. One maxed out set of armor done, one more to go. Last enchant? Yeah, and I'm home. I brought a lot more anvils than I needed. And yeah, now I have two backup sets of armor. Now, last episode, I said that I would try and make the auto composter more efficient. But this is as efficient as it can get. I mean, sure, it can go faster, but I don't, like, really want faster. Like, this is as efficient as it can get, and I'm going to keep it at this. But there is one upgrade I have in mind. There. Much better. And speaking of which, I think it would be a good idea to use it. I mean, that's just satisfying. You probably notice that there are torches in my inventory. Quite a bit of torches. Well, that's because we're going to be going on a mining expedition. Let's get into it. I think I'll start mining here. Oh, women's already. See how many I get. It's an eight vein. Fourteen diamonds. Not the best for an eight vein, but I'll roll with it because I did find an eight vein so early on. And some lapis. And apparently, lapis means diamonds, so I'm gonna test that. I'm not gonna risk it. That seems like nothing but lava. Oh! Those diamonds I didn't notice! 
25. They promised that this mining expedition will be shorter. The last one was pretty long. It took up like almost half the episode. This one is going to be pretty short, I promise. I do not like gravel. I do like gravel. It's very satisfying to clean up. Above me. Right above me. Maybe I should approach it from a different angle. Mildly underwhelming. Very satisfying. I mean, what are the chances of this generating? I added this in to liven the place up. I know it looks quite horrible, but it's hard to build when you don't have much materials. Apis? And copper. I think I use this strict fine diamond. Oh. Ooh, a cave noise. How scary. You know those, like, memes where people are scared of cave noises? Well, are people actually scared of cave noises? I'm just wondering, like, is that just, like, sort of, like, a meme or something? Or are people actually afraid of cave noises? Maybe I go four blocks north? Huh? No diamonds here, but I did find... 2x3 pattern of perfect bedrock, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Can I just find an abandoned mine shaft? Well, now I know what to do with my enchanted shears. I can do that. Not sure what I'd use the cobwebs for, but I have them. Oh, yeah, I'm getting good vibes from this one. My good vibes lie to me. I'm in, nice. Give to me the diamonds. Thirty-three. Is there a zombie spawner? Diamonds. I'm finding a lot of diamonds. Sixty. Can I get a stack? What? Huh. Minecraft is very weird. Another abandoned mine shaft? Yeah, no, I'm going home. I'm back home, now to go to bed. Or not. What is happening? Okay, well, while I wait for my bed to function, I think I should probably smelt my copper. Okay, it's all getting smelted now. Now let's try and go to bed. There. Now I can sleep. First things first, I gotta craft some diamond blocks. I exactly seven. 22 diamond blocks. I'm gonna go calculate how far I am into getting the diamond beacon, and then I'll be right back. I checked around 13% of the way there. Hold up, guys. I can't find Harold. I'm gonna try and use my elytra to get an aerial view. Harold? What? Harold? What are you doing on my roof? No, Harold. You can't work at the iron farm. 
We've been over this before. You don't care? And you're gonna stay up here until I let you work at the iron farm? Wow, Harold, you're really stubborn. Wow, if only I was capable of shoving iron golems until they get off my roof. And there we go, he's down. Come on, Harold. Let's get you back to the villagers. And there we go, Harold. You're back with the villagers. Uh. Don't do that again, Harold. Uh. And guys, I am genuinely so close to being able to get to the nether roof and build my nether hub thing up there. All I have to do before that is go find a desert for a renewable source of sand. I'll be right back. And, guys, we did it. We found the desert. Now let's take a screenshot of the coordinates and go home. Hold up. Did this lava pit seriously burn a bunch of these trees? I'm so surprised how this didn't start a forest fire. Well, the problem seems to be good now, so I'll just leave it. Now it's time to go into the nether. Hey, I'm in. Now it's time to get to the top of there, which shouldn't be too hard. This should hopefully be really easy. Just gonna get up there. Not die. I'm gonna drink this in case I die. Why do I hear a bunch of angry piglins? I think I can access it through here. There. Now I just gotta break the bedrock. We broke through, but that wasn't the right block. Okay, let's try this again. Hey, I'm gonna use Replay Mod. I mean, I know I have the resources to do this, but I think Replay Mod will be the easiest. Right here. I need to do it right here. And there, we're there. We're here. Now I just gotta get some portal locations. to do is get portal cores and then we should be good. Okay guys, so I'm uh I destroyed the portal that leads to the stronghold and I've also gotten the corn as to where the portal was. So first things first I'm gonna go there and build the portal on top of the nether roof. Okay, first block goes here. It should go to the stronghold. Nope. It connects all right. Okay, that wasn't too smart. Or it's literally pounding right now. There. I'm safe. Now I just wanna copy the coordinates of here and then break this portal. It goes down, now it's time to take this portal. I would be dead right now if it weren't for my full netherite armor. Okay. 
never is scarier than the end, and you can't convince me otherwise. Just gotta construct my portal up here. This should go to my main house. wall here with coordinates to the portals that I can traverse to. First, let's check if my desert one works. Oh yeah, this works. I'm in the desert alright. Alright, let's see if this one works. Just gonna wait for the chunks to load. Okay, right as I said it. And there's, there it is. There it is right there. That's the pillar drop those. I hooked up all of the portals. Now it's time to get to what this episode is about. The title of this episode is Ending World Hunger. And that's because this episode, we're gonna be building a very efficient food farm. Or more specifically, a hogland farm. The best place to build one of these is on the nether roof. And the Crimson Forest, which, well, you know, that's self-explanatory. I'm gonna go get the materials to build it right now, and I'll be right back. Alright, I've gotten all of the materials I'll need for the hogging farm. And this is actually pretty cheap for something that'll provide me a lot of food forever. But regardless, never, now it's time to go to the nether roof and build the farm. And yeah, I think I'm gonna put the hauling farm right here. And now you know what time it is. So, let's get into a time lapse. Actually, no, because the specific video file is kind of refusing to cooperate right now. And guys, yeah, I finished the hogland farm. I'm gonna go AFK up there for a little bit, like 20 minutes maybe, and then I'll be right back. Okay, I've been AFK for about 30 minutes, so let's see how much pork chops I've gotten. Whoa. That is a lot of pork chops. I mean, like, wow. Just wow. Hold up. How does Shulker Craft expect us to... Oh, just the pig one. But, seriously, how does Shulker Craft expect us to open this chest? Oh, well, at least I probably won't fill up these ones too much. And now that I have a hoglin for I'm not gonna need my cows anymore. And you guys know what that means. We're gonna free them. No, I wasn't implying that I was going to kill them. That would be horrible. The only thing I kill now is is monsters. I freed all of my cows, which there were quite a lot of them, and so now it's time for me to wait for them to dissipate. I'm gonna use some wheat to move them. Yeah, the wheat worked quite well. Also, there's a wandering trader over there. Let's see what he has. Nautilus shells? 
Boons are very useful. Yes. Tell you what, sir, I'll take yes. the whole lot. Ah. Um, just five. Eh, five is still good. <laughs> he also ah. sells jungle trees, and it might be a good idea to have a bit more trees around here. Here, now we have trees from the jungle. And a lot of Nautilus shells. And now that all of my cows are free, it's time for a happy cow montage. And guys, this is ostensibly the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed. Here's the previous episode, and here's the next episode if there is one. And without further ado, bye guys! Project Infinity.